Hello guys, um, this is basically about unit 20 AO2. In this section you're going to be designing and planning your animation. What I want to do in this video is explain to you what you need to do before you start. In front of me I have the scenario. Please make sure you download a copy of the scenario and you read it through before you start. It's talking about Recycle UK and how Recycle UK wants you to create an animation to help them. Your task is to create an, an animation to help them talk about the importance of recycling, to encourage people to recycle their rubbish and to encourage and attract young people to be more environmentally aware and care about their environment. So that is what you're going to be doing. After you read the scenario you're gonna need to download a copy of AO2. I'm not talking about the practice one, I'm talking about the real one, which I have right here in front of me. You should make sure you download a copy, make sure you put your name on it, and you need to make sure you fill in the design in your animation section. You guys have already done a practice of this. All you need to do is to lift from the one you've done or to copy it and just change the word in and use it to answer these questions. So you describe what you're going to do, you come up with a title for your animation, okay, based on the scenario. You then come to the aim of your animation. You need to talk about what you intend to do. You need to describe the audience of your animation. And you also need to talk about the software to be used. As we explained, you guys are going to be using Adobe Flash, okay? You need to talk about what method of animation you'll be using. And you need to answer these questions, okay? And after you're done with that, it comes to the timeline. I'm going to explain, and I've already explained it. The timeline is simply a series of boxes that show what will happen at any particular moment in your animation. So for instance, if I zoom out a bit, my animation subject will be, I'll say, recycling. And maybe, my first box here will be some sort of a title, okay? So I'll write my title in there and I'll type in whatever title I want to give. Next will be what will happen. But remember, I want you to pay attention to this timeline here because I'm talking about 10 seconds into my animation here. I'm talking about 20 seconds. I'm talking about 30 seconds there. So please be careful. So the next one will be maybe picture of the planet okay next at 20 seconds will be something else I could say um, picture of rubbish and so on and so forth till I come to the end of my animation your animation must be at least 30 seconds long so you need to go past 30 seconds so let's make it a minimum of 40 or 50 minimum of 40 don't think because it says 30 seconds you can just do one for 30 seconds don't risk it make sure that your animation is long enough now when you finish the timeline and you scroll down I'll just scroll down let's just keep going till I come to the storyboard okay it's the same thing first thing you need to do is to start drawing in what happens as you show it on the timeline. So my first one time in seconds would maybe be five seconds. And that would be my title here. Okay, so I'm going to just use shapes to just draw something. You don't need to, you guys will need to print this off and you will need to draw it in. I'm just using shapes because I'm teaching. So I will just put maybe a smiley face okay so I'm drawing this in and I will insert a text box okay so let's just imagine I'm drawing this in and I will put in some text saying recycling is great yeah but I am using this but you guys will be drawing this in I will not be using drawing because I'm using a laptop that doesn't have drawing tools okay and then description Please make sure you go into very intense detail about what is happening. In this scene, 
every single box here is a scene okay so in this scene I will start off my animation with the title recycling is great I will have a smiley face and I will use the color blue because of blah 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 okay and I am describing something you guys will need to write this in okay you will not need to type because as I said again this will be drawn in so you take each box I've given you loads of boxes okay if you make a mistake you can print another copy off if I zoom out you can print another copy off and you can use it so I've given you loads of boxes for you to use so what you need to do is to make sure the timeline is filled in as shown over here and then use the timeline to then produce a storyboard over there and that is pretty much what you're going to be doing in this lesson so number one you're going to use the sheet that was given to you in the previous practice lesson to fill in the sheet on the planning and design side then you're going to complete a timeline then you use the timeline to create a storyboard which you will print out and you will start drawing in lesson okay now I want you to go and I want you to try it out for yourself